Welcome. This is Peddling the Climate Hoax with San Diego's catastrophic new four cent per mile mileage tax. We're going to shred the fallacy about climate change, sea level rise, and the nonsense of bike lanes and special bus routes. Please watch. I'm standing here on the Silver Strand State Beach south of Coronado, California to illustrate the fallacy of sea level rise. It's not happening. Behind me is 30th Street in San Diego's North Park neighborhood where they blocked off nearly all of the parking and put these bike lanes in. I have been here for over an hour and a half taking a time lapse with my other camera. In that time, I think I've counted seven, bic seven bicyclists come by in that time. Uh, kind of sparse. And I'm standing now in front of Lefty's Chicago Pizzeria, right on 30th Street at 30th and Myrtle. It's a great place, they make great pizza. The owner, Lauren, has agreed to talk to us on camera about the impact that losing most of the parking spaces in front of her business has caused her pizzeria to suffer. Um, again, this is crazy. Well, I'd like to introduce, meet... Lauren Hodson. Lauren Hodson. She owns this Lefty's and another one up in Mission Hills. I haven't been to that one, but I can test this pizza out of here. I've had it several times. It's great. So, Lauren, Lauren's business is right on 30th Street. It's steps from where we're standing right now out her front door. And I just want to find out from Lauren how this closing off the parking spaces out here for the favor of bike lanes, for the favor of bike riders. Again, I saw less than 10 this morning in a two hour span of time. So, Lauren, tell us what's, what's going on. That's a true statement. We just see very few bikers actually using the lanes. More often, you'll see them on the sidewalk. Yeah, they don't yield to pedestrians. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The yeah. parking has certainly become a hassle for many people, Dave. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I have people who call and cancel their order after it's already been made because they can't find the spot to park and they're frustrated. You know, and they come in here with that frustration, and that just puts a damper on their whole event at Lefties. So you can see the impact, and as I mentioned in another video. The irony of this is that 30th Street is the major north-south thoroughfare here in the North Park uh, neighborhood of San Diego. One measly block about the length of the football field to our west is, is the dead quiet 29th Street. You could literally ride bikes five abreast there and nobody would be in any danger. One block to the east is Ray Street. It's not as wide but it, and it's one way. It's the same thing. It's dead quiet. You could ride down, down that three abreast and not have any danger. But for some reason, our uh, Politician decided to block off much needed parking here on 30th Street in favor of bikers of which there's almost none So there you have it uh, pl Please like and uh, subscribe to our videos. We're gonna keep adding to this as we go on. Thank you very much for watching Thanks, Dave. This is 29th Street the dead quiet Residential Street one block west of 30th Street that bikers could easily traverse five abreast and be totally safe if you look closely in the distance, you can see the iconic North Park Theater, that red brick building on the horizon back there. So that's where we are. And for some reason, our city fathers decided to block off much needed parking out on 30th Street, one block that way, uh, costing lefty Chicago pizzeria a lot of business. And when they had this sitting right here the whole time, they don't, they don't care about us. They care about some other agenda, but it's not us. Thank you. Meanwhile, San Diego's Mayor Todd Gloria has gone jetting across the globe at taxpayer expense to a climate conference to, and as he tries to ram this four cent per mile mileage tax down our throats. At the same time, crime is rampant. Shootings in Pacific Beach, shootings in Mission Beach. These were safe before. Shootings and stabbings in our downtown gas lamp quarter along Fifth Avenue. It's totally unsafe in these areas and we taxpayers are going to suffer for it. 